Hey there, viewers. Do you have diabetes? Isn't it challenging sometimes to plan your meals? Having diabetes shouldn't mean you're stuck with a bland, boring diet. You can choose the right foods that make you a victor of diabetes instead of a victim. In today's video, we'll talk about the powerful foods you should add to your diet to help overcome the effects of diabetes. So the next time, you'll be sure to pick diabetes-friendly foods that will help keep your blood sugar levels in check. Why are avocados at the top of our list? How good are carrots? We'll be talking about all of these and more. Let's begin with avocados. Avocados have grown in popularity recently due to their many health benefits. They are packed with fiber and have little amounts of sugar and carbohydrates. So eating an avocado means you don't have to worry about increasing those blood sugar levels. Avocados make for an ideal snack if you have diabetes. Studies have shown a particular fat molecule, which is only present in avocados, restricts incomplete oxidation in the pancreas, meaning there's less insulin resistance. Good news, isn't it? Wondering how to include this fruit in your diet? Well, you can eat it on its own or pair it with a snack and make guacamole. Mash an avocado and put it in your sandwiches instead of using mayonnaise or butter. Believe me, it tastes fantastic. Eating fruit definitely will give you a good start to your day. But what about your protein needs? Is there a diabetes-friendly option that could make your meals more exciting? Let's find out. You can certainly eat your favorite steak without worrying about blood sugar levels. Beef may seem like a food that should not be included in a diet for diabetes, but if you opt for lean cuts and eat small portions, it can be a great addition to your meal as the protein from beef can keep you full and satisfied. Beef can also help build your muscle mass if you're losing weight. While lean cuts are preferred, other cuts can also be made leaner. Put your selected cuts in the freezer for 20 minutes so that the meat becomes hard enough to easily cut out the fat. Speaking of steak for a meal, wouldn't you like to know more about diabetes snack options or a side dish? Let's take a look. Greek yogurt is great at balancing your blood sugar levels. Greek yogurt is another excellent food to add to your diet to prevent diabetes. A study was conducted among 100,000 participants to see how yogurt can help. The results showed that having a serving of yogurt daily can reduce the chances of type 2 diabetes by about 18%. Yogurt can also help you lose weight. Research has shown that yogurt can help drop some extra pounds and improve the body composition of those with type 2 diabetes. Yogurt is rich in a fat called conjugated leolenic acid as well as protein and calcium. All three together help you feel full for a long time, reducing your calorie intake daily. Greek yogurt is also low in carbs, giving only 6 to 8 grams of carbs per serving. Not in the mood to snack on Greek yogurt? Well, we have another option for you. Eating carrots can be incredibly beneficial for your health. Carrots are famous for their various health benefits. They can help improve your eye health and reduce cancer risk. This vegetable is a good addition to a diabetic diet because of the amount of fiber they contain. Carrots have a reputation for being bad for those with diabetes because they spike blood sugar levels. While they do have the kind of sugar that gets into your blood quickly, the amount of sugar that's actually in carrots is relatively low. Carrots are a great source of beta carotene, which is key to controlling your blood sugar levels. It also has pectin, a fiber compound that slows your digestion process and ensures your blood sugar levels don't rise. Moving on, let's talk about chia seeds and their benefits. Chia seeds are perfect for those with diabetes. They contain fiber and at the same time are low in carbs. A serving of chia seeds weighing 28 grams would have around 12 grams of carbs. Of the 12 grams, 11 are just fiber. If anything, the fiber you get from chia seeds would lower your blood sugar levels because the fiber slows down the speed at which your food moves and gets absorbed by the body. Chia seeds can also help you drop weight as the fiber keeps you full for longer. In a study, nearly 80 adults who had type 2 diabetes were overweight or obese. The study proved that eating chia seeds can help maintain glycemic control and aid in weight loss. How do you include chia seeds in your diet? Well, one of the simplest ways is to add chia seeds to water and drink it after a couple of minutes. Or try making chia gel by stirring one third cup of chia seeds into two cups of warm water and let the mixture thicken. Chia gel can be enjoyed on its own, added to a smoothie or blended with salad ingredients like olive oil, lemon juice, vinegar, and honey. Next on our list is barley. Rather than eating white rice with your meals, you should try barley. Eating barley reduces the pace at which the blood sugar levels rise after a meal by as much as 70%. It can also keep your blood sugar levels lower for longer. Barley contains soluble fiber and carbohydrates that can slow your digestion process. It also reduces the speed at which your body absorbs carbohydrates. The advantages of barley even outweigh that of brown rice. 
A study among 10 overweight people who were given barley or oats with glucose showed that barley was more effective in decreasing blood sugar levels by as much as 65%. In another case study, 10 healthy people showed that those who ate barley during dinner had 30% more insulin sensitivity after breakfast the next day than those who ate refined wheat bread. Barley is undoubtedly an excellent substitute for rice. Try barley risotto or beef barley soup. Do you know what else pairs well with a bowl of hearty barley salad? Nuts! Let's explore their benefits. Nuts are a big yes if you have diabetes. Nuts are packed with fiber and are low in total net carbs. When you eat nuts regularly, it can lower your blood sugar levels. They can also help in reducing inflammation and harmful cholesterol levels. People with diabetes should have nuts to help improve their heart health. A study on over 16,000 people with type 2 diabetes showed that participants who ate tree nuts, such as hazelnuts, walnuts, almonds, and pistachios, had a much lower chance of heart disease and death. Eating nuts can also help improve glucose levels. A study on those with type 2 diabetes proved that those who ate walnut oil daily had improved blood glucose levels. Try having nuts as is or make a trail mix to eat on the go. They also make good additions to your smoothies or oatmeal. So far, we've covered diabetes-friendly fruit, snacks, and meals. What about a healthy breakfast option? You're in luck. Here are great breakfast options for maintaining blood sugar levels. Start your day with eggs. Having eggs as part of your diet will help reduce the chances of heart disease and inflammation and increase your good cholesterol levels. For those with diabetes, eggs can improve insulin sensitivity too. A study among those with diabetes ate eggs for breakfast which were high in fat but low in carbs. The results showed the participants could maintain their blood sugar levels for an entire day. Further research has shown that eating around 6 to 12 eggs a week can be good for diabetic people. Last on our list is extra virgin olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil has a monounsaturated fat called oleic acid which can help manage blood glucose levels while lowering fat levels in your blood after a meal. This is vital for those living with diabetes as they tend to have high fat levels and problems related to managing their blood sugar levels. Research has shown that among the various types of fat, only olive oil was able to bring down the risk of heart disease. Olive oil also has potent antioxidants such as polyphenol, which lowers your blood pressure levels and inflammation. It can also help protect the cell linings of your blood vessels and prevent the oxidation of harmful cholesterol. Olive oil mixed with corn and soy won't provide you with its full benefits. Instead, choose extra virgin olive oil as it would be unrefined and have all its antioxidants and nutritional properties intact. Diabetes can be challenging, but with the right approach, it can definitely be kept under control. Let's keep the conversation going with a couple more diabetes-friendly videos, shall we? Here's 8 signs you didn't know could mean you are a diabetic. Or 9 fruits you should be eating and 8 you shouldn't if you're a diabetic. Go ahead, click one, or better yet watch both and learn more about diabetes and nutrition. Are you planning on including any of these diabetic-friendly foods in your diet? Let us know in the comments below.